I'm Dory, and today I am continuing my ACEO challenge.、Uh, this is ACEO April, and it's basically just a challenge that requires me to draw a new ACEO or ATC artist trading card. Uh, a new one every single day for the month of April. If you're interested in participating in this challenge, you are welcome to do so. All you have to do is、uh, start today and、uh, create a ACEO, which is a baseball card sized artwork, and you do a new one every single day for the rest of the month. And post it online each day with、uh, the hashtag ACEO April, and boom, you are included. It's so easy.、Uh, if you're fi- interested in finding out more about the challenge, definitely take a look at、uh, Black Summer Coloring. She is the one that started this challenge, and you can kind of learn more about it from her and see what she's doing with this challenge as well. I will have a link to her channel down below. Just in case you're interested,、um, but yeah, let me talk about the、uh, drawing that I'm working on right now. <laughs> This is Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu is,、um, I mean, if you don't know who Pikachu is, you you might you might be living under a rock. <laughs>、uh, Pikachu is the kind of the face of the Pokemon franchise.、Um, He's definitely the most recognizable, the the most popular Pokemon、um, that you can possibly get in the Pokemon games, and yeah, I think he's adorable. I really thought he was super cute, and he was fun to draw. And this was just a cute little fun card to create, and I just I think he's adorable, and I like like love him very much. <laughs> I remember.、Um, When、uh, Pokemon first became very, very popular in the United States, where I live,、uh, I was in high school at the time,、um, and I don't know. I, I as a teenager, the, just me、uh, personally, I was incredibly shy,、um, very, very, very、uh, introverted. I still am. I really am very shy and introverted to this day. But at the time, I was also. Paired that with incredibly naive and very cut off from the general world, <laughs>、um, so I was not never very very conscious of what was going on and what was popular in the world, and、um, yet somehow I still knew about P- Pokemon and Pikachu. <laughs>、um, I when I was a teenager, I, I did a lot of babysitting, and that's kind of how I made a lot of money at at, at one point in my life, and.、Um, I remember there was this one little boy that I would babysit, and、um, his name was Chris. And he he kind of he was one of those kids that kind of had everything. Like he had all the latest game systems. He had a Game Boy. He had all the you know cool gadgets and toys and everything, and just always had everything that was new and popular. And and、uh, I was always a little bit wary. Like this is the kind of kid.、Um, You know, I guess it's po- common these days, but back then it wasn't super common for a kid to have a TV in his room, and you know he had a VCR, which <laughs> is a movie player.、Um, in case you're not, you don't know what a VCR is,、um, but he had his own VCR and his own TV and all the things that I didn't have as a teenager. This kid has had at a very very young a- age, and I was always kind of a, a little wary. Of this guy because he would、um, <laughs> he liked really scary stuff like he was into、um, like the Freddy Krueger he would try to get me to play the Freddy Krueger game with him and he would、uh, always want to watch scary movies and he had all the Goosebumps books and he would want to read scary books and and you know, everything every time I went over to babysit this guy he had some kind of spooky plans like he was going to. Uh, read about serial killers and and whatever, and I'm like, you're a little kid. Why can't we just play, you know, board games or something? And but yeah, he he、um, had gotten me into playing all these really scary, scary games.、Um, he had this one game about,、uh, I think it was a Jurassic Park game, honestly, and where the monster, where the dinosaurs would come out and like they would tear you apart and there'd be blood everywhere. And it was, I mean, it was. I was a shy, scared, scaredy cat of a of a kid, and I just I didn't I wasn't into it. So, <laughs>、um, but he sure was. Wow. And、um, and one time I was babysitting this kid, 
and he was like, I got a new game, you gotta play it, you gotta play it, and he's trying to get me to play this game on the Game Boy with him, and I'm, I'm really, I did, I wasn't, I was scared. <laughs> I was like, God, what is this? And he goes, you have to find these monsters, and, and, and I'm like, nope, 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 I'm done, nope. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's do something else and but he ended up convincing me to play and it was Pokemon and it was actually it was a lot of fun and I was like wow you're into something that's not scary and horrible and gory this is cool and um, it, it, it after that we just always did Pokemon stuff and every time I went over to baby this this kid after that we would watch Pokemon uh, cartoons or we would play Pokemon and anytime there was a new Pokemon released he would always have it and want to play it and I don't know it was it was it was cool and so that was my kind of first exposure to Pokemon <laughs> and um, I think my first starter was uh, Squirtle I'm pretty sure it was a Squirtle I've always, I always choose Squirtle. I like Squirtle. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, my first kind of exposure to Pokemon. And once um, this kid kind of showed me the game and everything, all of a sudden it was, it just seemed to be everywhere. It w it really was. It was um, like all of a sudden all of my friends had the trading cards uh, or, um, you know, their little siblings were into the cartoons and it was, it just seemed to be like literally everywhere everywhere I looked there were Pokemon things and it, it was kind of crazy like just how it kind of exploded over here in the United States and I mean that was in the 90s the mid 90s so it was what 20 years ago <laughs> and people still still love Pokemon so it's um it's a very simple concept if you really think about what the game is it's incredibly incredibly simple very basic concept of a game um, and yet it's it's so durable it's it's really really endured and it it's so beloved at this point uh, and uh, it, I don't know it's kind of cool because I've uh, throughout my life been able to kind of watch it evolve into what it is now um, and yeah I'm kind of grateful to that <laughs> kid <laughs> so yeah thanks buddy for uh, showing me Pokemon um, I'm still mad at you for making me play the Freddy Krueger game. I don't, I, I did not like that at all. But yeah, Pokemon, good job. <laughs> so yeah, here is my little Pikachu guy. I think he turned out really cute. I had fun drawing him. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And yeah, definitely leave me a comment down below to tell me your first time playing Pokemon. And do you still play Pokemon Go? Because I do. I play it every day. I think I'm the only one on Earth that still does. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.